Hello everyone and welcome to another video on JavaScript programming. Kaushal this side from Simply Code and today we are going to discuss the on mouse over and on mouse out events in JavaScript. Before we begin, make sure that you are subscribed to our YouTube channel and press that bell icon to never miss an update from Simply Code. So without any further delay, let's get started. So guys, we have been discussing specific methods of accessing an element for the past few videos. Now today, we are going to discuss something different. Before going deep into this topic, let's recall events in JavaScript. So the simple definition of an event states that something that happens. So when we manipulate an HTML document in JavaScript, we try to do something on the web page, right? So several events take place on a website, like the user hovers over a specific element or clicks on an element or pressing a key in the website can also refer to events or we can say submitting a form or playing a video also refers to the same thing. So we are using the on click event for the past few videos wherein we discussed that a specific task would be performed on clicking a particular button. What we did was we were just calling a function by clicking a button in HTML. So clicking a button is also an event, right? And the function that will be called upon clicking the button is known as event handler because that function is basically asking the computer to perform a particular task on clicking the button. So like the on click event, we have some more exciting events present in HTML, which helps us make a web page more interactive and responsive as well. So we can do it with the help of JavaScript. So we'll go through two such events today, the on mouse over event and the on mouse out event. So the on mouse over event will perform a task when the user takes the mouse cursor on that element. Similarly, the on mouse out event also performs a task when the user takes the mouse cursor away from that element. So for example, let's suppose we have an image present in our web page and we want to change the size of that image when the user takes the mouse cursor over that image. And the image should get back to its previous size when the user takes away the cursor. So what's basically happening is when the user is taking its mouse over the image or picture, the picture size will increase and on taking the mouse cursor away from the image, the size will get back to its default size. So let's do it once and we'll see how these events work within an HTML document. So first of all, let's add an image to the HTML file. We'll use the IMG tag for that and we'll have to provide the path for the image, right? So we'll write here in a HTML file, we'll add an image here. So we'll write here IMG and then we have to provide the source and the images are stored inside the images folder in this system. So we'll write here the image name. So we have provided the path here. Next up, what we'll do is we'll use the alt attribute. So we'll write here in the alt, we'll write here simply code. Fine. Save it. And here you can see we have an image over a browser, but the image size is quite large, right? So we'll limit the size of this image using the width property. So what we'll do is we'll write here width and let's say the width of the image will be 250 pixel. Save it. And now you can see we have an image over here. The image is in its normal size. So this is the image. So we have this image over here. And next thing what we are going to do is we are going to increase the size of this picture on taking the mouse cursor over this image. So what will happen is when we take our mouse cursor here, the picture size will increase. So for that we have to use the on mouse over property or we can see the on mouse over event. So what we'll do is we'll write here on mouse over and we'll call a function on taking the mouse cursor over this image. So we'll write here change size. So we'll declare it in a JavaScript file and we'll call this function on taking the mouse cursor over this picture. So next thing we are going to do is we are going to move to a JavaScript file and we'll define this change size function there. So let's go to the JavaScript part. We'll go to a JS file and we'll write here. We'll declare a function first. So we'll write here function change size and then we have the body of this function. So we can do it without taking any variable like in the previous videos we were taking a variable to store the reference of uh, the ID attribute. So this time we are 
going to use the document dot get element by id but we are not going to use a separate variable for storing the reference so we'll write here document dot get element by id and we haven't provided the id yet so let's do one thing let's move back to a html file and we'll use the id attribute here as well inside the img tag we'll write here id let's say the id is img1 fine save it and we'll write here inside the js file we'll give the id here as well so we have the id as img1 save it and the next thing we are going to do is we are going to use the style property with this document dot get element by id method so we'll write here dot style and then we'll write here dot width and then we'll specify the width so we'll write here the width as let's say 500 pixel the default width is 250 pixels right so save it and let's see if it's working fine or not so here is the image on the browser and we'll take the mouse cursor over the image and you can see the change in the size of this picture so javascript makes it easy to do such tasks now you might have noticed that the image's size remains the same once the user takes the mouse cursor away from the image right so the image size is changed let me zoom out a little bit so it will be easy for you guys so what we'll do is we'll refresh this page and here you can see on taking the mouse cursor over this image the change in the size of this particular picture so now the image size is 500 pixel now the image size is not getting back to its original size like what we did was we used the on mouse over event and the image size is changing and that's working totally fine so the next thing we are going to do is we are going to use the on mouse out event and what will happen is the image size will get back to its default size like which is the 250 pixel so we'll for that we'll use another function so first we have to use the on mouse out event here so we'll write here on mouse out and we have to create another function so we'll write here change size to so this will be a function name save it and here we have to create another function in the javascript file so we'll write here function change size and the function name is change size to then we have the body of this function and we'll use the document dot get element by id method the id is same which is img1 and then we are going to use the style property again and this time we'll specify the width as 250 pixel so this is the default size of our image save it so what we did is we created a function that will be called when the user takes away the mouse cursor from the picture and the image size will be changed to 250 pixels which was the initial size of the image so save it and now you can see here on the browser the image size is changing on taking the mouse cursor over the image the image size is 500 pixel now and on taking the mouse cursor away from the image the image is getting back to its default size right so you can see the change here so this is how we can use these events to make a web page more interactive and attractive as well next up we'll go through another example wherein we will change the image on the mouse over event and the default image will be shown on taking the cursor away from the image so this image will change on taking the mouse cursor over it and again it will get back to the default image on taking the mouse cursor away from the image so guys here's the code for the same and what will happen is the image will change on taking the mouse cursor over it and gets back to the default on taking the cursor away so guys the html part will remain the same wherein we use the img tag to add an image and then we have two functions one for the on mouse over and another for the on mouse out event so in the javascript file we define the two functions here so you can see the function one is change image and the function two is change image two so what's happening is we are using the get element by id method again and this time we are using the src attribute and what we are doing is we are changing the source of image like we are using here the simply learn.png so this is our image saved in the particular folder inside the images folder and in the next function what we are doing is we are again changing the image to the default image so we have used the simply code.png image here 
So what will happen is the default image will be replaced by this image when this function is called and the other function here will again replace the new image with the default one. So let's take a look at the output and save it. So here you can see on taking mouse cursor over this image you can see the change so this is the image we want to change so on taking the mouse cursor away from this image you can see the image gets back to the default one you can see the image is changing and it's quite responsive and attractive so this is how we can use these events in javascript that's all for this video guys see you in the next one where we will go through projects to revise things which we studied till now in javascript and if you like this video do give it a thumbs up if you have any doubts do let us know in the comments below share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe simply code thank you